my channel and if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Maya I'm sorry if you hear a lot of banging and clanging and everything like that Grayson is still awake right now and is getting into everything and when I mean everything I literally mean everything he was standing on a basket earlier too to be a matter of like just, just put that out I'm filming this video way late. I'm kind of off of my game right now. I've been just having a lot of stress the last couple of days. I'm still having a lot of stress. Um, but I still have to get a video out for you guys. So I'm definitely not going to miss an upload. Day. So if you follow me on social media, you know that I have been binky breaking Grayson. And I decided why not film a video talking about how I did it and went along through the process of it, tips and tricks that I have, and finally cutting all of the nipples on the binkies off. So that is what this video is going to be all about. So if you are a mom struggling with binky breaking and want some help or just want to know how I did it just keep on watching. So first things first Grayson is over a year so he's not too bad into the stage of where we binky breaked him. I do wish that I broke him before he got teeth because I don't know if it's because of his binky or if it's just how his teeth are but he does have a gap in between his top two teeth so again don't know if it's from his binky or if that's just how they grew in. We'll probably find that out when we do finally have his first dentist appointment, which I should probably schedule that soon after his one year baby doctor's appointment, which we still haven't had and he's been a year for over like three months now. Love his doctor's office. So yeah, these, any of this could help at any time that you start binky breaking. Binky breaking can be the worst process ever, the hardest thing to go through. But the thing that I kept thinking in my head when trying to figure out when the right time for binky breaking was, was go with him. When he starts to not so much be so upset about losing it, that's when I kind of chose to be like, okay, well, he's not being so attached to it right now. I think this is a really good time to start binky breaking. I do kind of feel like I had the signs that he was ready to be binky broken a while before this, but I just never saw them. Grayson always played with his binky. He would throw it out of his crib and all like those types of things. So that's kind of like where I should have started to break him, but I didn't. Now my original plan was, okay, I'll binky break him after he's in his own room and moved into there because he'll be in a new area and he'll want something like a security item to be there with him because that was what his binky was. It was basically his security blanket in a way. So that was the plan and then time went on and things just got really busy. We haven't been able to move anything out of the room that my grandfather's moving into, which my grandfather's room is going to be Grayson's room soon. So <sighs> basically we saw that it was going to be a lot longer than what we had anticipated. So I do want to put this out here straight forward. Binky breaking is going to be hard it's not gonna be a piece of cake they're not just gonna be like oh Mickey's gone all right let's just go right off to bed no they're gonna fight they're gonna cry they're gonna scream they're gonna throw tantrums and they're gonna test every last bit of your nerves to try to get you to crack and the only thing that you need to do is remember I can do this I'm not gonna break Meanwhile, so at first, when I first started as binky breaking process, I had randomly just one day I was like, let's try taking a nap without a binky. And he went down perfectly fine. He laid in bed with me and fell asleep without a no fuss, nothing. And then that night, I tried having him just lay in his bed and cry until he finally passed out. 
Now that did work for the first few days. He did cry in his bed until he just finally fell asleep. If you don't know what that is, that is basically the cry it out method. And it did work for Grayson for a couple of days, but I started to realize that that wasn't the perfect and best approach for Grayson himself. Now, some children, that is the best approach for them, but for Grayson, that's just not how it is the best for him. So, I started to have him fall asleep with me, just like I had when I was getting him to sleep in his own bed by himself. Um... He just hit his head off the wall. So he will fall asleep in my bed. He just feels comfort and security with having me right there with him, which is no problem at all. I can transfer him into his bed, and then he usually does sleep the full night without anything. So for the first few nights, I would have him fall asleep in my bed. I would put him in his bed. I would go to bed. And then he would wake up about an hour or two after that, which is totally normal because he's like, wait a minute, you're not here, where's my security? So at that point, we would just try to figure out what was his best security item for him to have. At first, I thought it was um, one of his blankets. And I still think it is one of his blankets that is like partially a security item for him to feel comfort with. But I have found that one of the big items that he, like, really feels comfortable with is his little puppy that is has a blanket attached to it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show it at some point or insert a picture. So that's what I'm talking about is that item right that I just showed you guys um so he always has that when he goes to bed now there are nights where I have to fight with him for him to lay down and go to bed because he just fights sleep a lot and those are the days that really are testy and everything where especially hey stop it it's gonna fall on you There are nights where he's very, like, testing my limits. I remember there was a night where I s sat on the other side of my desk so he couldn't see me. And I nearly had a breakdown because I was so exhausted just from hearing him cry constantly. But it does get easier. I do say, I can definitely say that. He's so much better now. Like, it's unbelievable to know that I don't have to take a binky with me on a car ride. I don't have to worry about having to go buy more binkies because we can't find one. Like, it's it's really awesome. Now, I do want to say, I did not go full cold turkey with Grayson. I know some people out there think, oh, just go cold turkey, take it away from him completely, get it done and over with. I didn't do that with Grayson because I've tried doing things, just taking them away completely, and it completely ruins him and destroys him, and it makes things a lot harder with him. So, I lowered things down slowly but surely. I started off with no binky during the day, which means whenever he's not sleeping, he does not have a binky around him. No one is to give him a binky if he just starts to cry to calm him down. He's to figure it out without his binky. And then I took away car privileges. I would let him have a binky in the car just because... We didn't want to hear him scream in the car, but we took those away, and he never had one in the car after that or during the day. He did really good with both of them. And then I started nap time, where he would just have one without a nap, and then I officially took it away completely. So I slowly lead him, lead, led him. I slowly led him into having no binky whatsoever again. Every child is different, so these might not work with your child like they did with mine. The biggest and most important thing that I could give any person a tip on when it becomes time to binky break is don't get frustrated with your child. I know it's going to be very frustrating and you're just going to want to just, oh, just yeah, but don't because you getting frustrated at them is going to make them feel a whole lot worse because basically you're getting frustrated at the fact that they're trying to cope with not having their security item anymore that you took away from them and you're getting like 
frustrated or mad at them for that. Be there for them. Give them all the comfort they need, all the hugs, all the snuggles, everything that they need just to feel okay to have that item not with them anymore is, like, the biggest thing that I could, like, ever give a tip to somebody on. Like, Grayson's such a cuddle bug and he always cuddles up on me when he falls asleep for his naps and that's just because he feels safe around me, which is great. Your child should feel really safe around you. So my next suggestion is if your child is starting to have trouble falling asleep at night and just does not have all the energy out of him. So Grayson had a really bad time trying to fall asleep after we took his binky away. He seemed to have a lot more energy and he just wasn't winding down like he used to. And my biggest tip to you is if you are a person like me who gives their child a bath every Every single night, um, make sure you give them a bath a little bit earlier than what you normally do. We kind of have a schedule down at this point, and after his bath, I let him just run around, like, play, do whatever, and get as much of that energy out as he possibly can before he lays down and goes to bed. And there still are times where he doesn't have all that energy out, and he just kind of, like, moves around in bed a whole lot until he finally just falls asleep. And that's totally okay. Just getting their energy out as best as you can before putting them to bed is, like, really, like, important. Just getting them as worn out as possible so they just crash is, like, a big key in my journey of being key breaking. Another tip that I can give you is if your child is having trouble sleeping at night, look at their nap schedules. Grayson only takes one nap during the day and I have limited him to that one nap because if I give him more than one nap, he will not sleep until one o'clock in the morning, which that can't be happening or both of us will be exhausted <laughs> the next day. So Grayson usually has a nap in between 11 and 1 in the afternoon, which is slightly around two to three hours after he wakes up which he normally plays hard eats his breakfast gets ready for the day has his bath in the morning all of those types of things that are really a lot for him to be doing so obviously they're wearing him out and he needs a nap sometimes they're a little bit later but i try to aim towards not going past two o'clock because at that point it's kind of like a threshold of well is it too late that we put if we put him down this late is he gonna actually sleep for tonight and yeah and his naps also always range from how long they are so that's also an ultimatum of how he's gonna sleep the night that he's depending on his nap if that makes sense I don't think it did, but it made sense in my brain. So, I don't really think I have any other, like, big tips that I can give people. So, I think it's time that we finally cut all the nipples on the binky. The main reason that I'm doing this is for the fact of if we have a really bad night, I cannot go and grab a binky and be like, here. That is more for me, but also for Grayson to see, we are definitely 100% done with Binky. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hello. Say hello. I have about five Binkies up here right now. He's reaching for one. <laughs> okay, ready? I don't see this. Ready? No more. He's gonna get frustrated. <laughs> we have cut a nipple off of a Binky. Do another one so you can't do it. This one already has a hole in it from when I cut it before. Uh-uh, we're not eating scissors. <laughs> well... 
I think that's finally it. He's tried sucking on all of them, and it ain't working for him, so he's kind of just throwing them on the floor. He's really just chewing on that one. Hey. All right, I'm going to go cut all the nubs off of these and show him them all together. We have them almost all here. He threw one, but I don't know where it went, but we're, we're done. We cut them all down to the nub, and now all that's left is to throw them away. <laughs> Want to say goodbye? Say goodbye to your binkies. <sighs> goodbye, binkies. like glue <laughs> it's closed it's a big boy thing you did who oh, gave up your pinky i'm so proud of you who did such a big boy thing my big boy he's such a big boy now anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this video a thumbs up and subscribe I think it's time for bed. Subscribe. <laughs> like up this video and let me know what videos you guys want to see me do. And I love you guys so, so much. And we will see you guys all in the next video. Oh. Bye, guys.